some restaurants are really struggling, whether it's Chinatown here in New York or Chinatown in San Francisco. As Amber Lee shows us, their story is emblematic of what's happening across America. In San Francisco, we take so much pride in how diverse we are uh, as a city. Community members are taking action to save the historic Far East Cafe, which opened in 1920 in the heart of San Francisco Chinatown. The pandemic nearly shuttered the business at the end of last year. Now it's fighting to survive by providing meals to low-income elders and families. The restaurant is giving and receiving relief through partnerships with the city and nonprofits. For the second chance, and uh, still difficult, really difficult. The restaurant is applying for legacy business status with the city, which could help make it eligible for additional funding. Over 100 years ago already. An effort is underway to restore the historical lanterns that adorn the dining area, ornate craftsmanship, telling ancient stories that illustrate the Chinese culture, with special attention to details, some depicting members of the military. Money is being raised to get the work done. These lanterns came from China. They were shipped here in crates. It was purchased by the original uh, owners and developers of this restaurant um, over hundred years ago. Doug May is a San Francisco firefighter who grew up in Chinatown. He volunteers his free time working to preserve Far East Cafe. May enlisted the help of other off-duty firefighters to paint the parklet after a contractor volunteered to build it with donated materials. Far East Cafe employs immigrants and has functioned as a banquet hall with the capacity to host almost 700 people for gatherings that span generations. Sandy and Carolyn Chu have been patrons for decades. Almost 37 years ago, they held their wedding banquet here for hundreds of guests. The reason why we chose this venue for our wedding banquet was mostly because of the decor. Chu has performed folk dances here for Lunar New Year celebrations in recent years. When we come to Banquet Hall is where you find your history, you find your people. San Francisco Supervisor Connie Chan is working with the owner to consider landmarking the interior, the private booths, the artwork, and the design of the restaurant. It's really to preserve the history of Chinese American in San Francisco. Still, there is hope on the horizon that San Francisco is heading toward economic recovery. City officials say in March, they helped dozens of clients interested in starting new businesses. Reporting from San Francisco Chinatown, I'm Amber Lee. Still ahead, one-on-one -on -one with superstar celebrity chef Jet Tila. A lot of these crimes took place down the street for me. And the man behind the viral Instagram page, Fit Men Cook. You got some good moves that I think you need to share. <laughs> this is Restaurants Across America, The Road to Restart.